Hi folks, we're back with our old friend the mace, the flanged mace, okay? And uh, I just really want to address one point, and that's a lot of comments that have come up about flanged maces have commented that these flanges look very uh, spiky and that they would do a lot of damage to someone's flesh. Well, I just want to uh, uh, accentuate and emphasise a point that I made in my last video, and that is that those flanges are not really there um, they're not there, certainly not there primarily to injure unarmoured people. The mace is not a very good weapon against an unarmoured person. A sword is far better, okay? The mace is there as an armoured weapon. It's short, it's end heavy, it's relatively slow to swing, hits with quite a lot of force, but it is not sharp and won't do penetrating injury, generally speaking. Uh, these flanges are thinner than the original. The original which I took measurements from in the uh, British Museum, incidentally I took the measurements which the uh, night shop then used to produce this replica. Um, this replica is not exactly the same measurements as the, not in all the parts, it's not exactly the same as the uh, British, um, British Museum example. The British Museum example, the flanges are made of thicker steel and these points and these sort of edges, although they're not sharp at all, the edges are much blunter. Okay, It's very, very clear when you look at the original one in the British Museum, it is not there really to do penetration. It is blunt, essentially, um, and these flanges are purely there to give traction against plate armour. So that when you hit the armour, instead of just glancing off the helmet, it will bite in like teeth, and think of these Think of these like molar teeth rather than incisor teeth. They're there to just get traction so that they can crush. Okay, You're aiming to do crushing blows to bits of the body um, and those points are there like, uh, like studs on a, on a training shoe, you know, on a football boot or whatever. They're there to get traction to exert more force onto the thing that you're hitting. They're treads, okay? They're not really blades. They're not blades at all, in fact. They're not sharpened as blades. And the historical examples, I won't say all of them, but all of the ones that I've ever seen have been very, very blunt. Um, and some of them are incredibly blunt, and these are not flat at all. Some of them are almost um, square section at the point end. Okay, They're purely there to bite onto the target so that you can exert more force on the target when you hit it, instead of glancing off. Okay, cheers.